Hello everyone, welcome to Scott Reviews Things in four and a half minutes. And what am I reviewing this time? It's Christmas time, so I am reviewing Cheech and Chong's Santa Claus and His Old Lady. It's a 45, it's a single, it came out in 1971, same year as their debut album. But this was not on their debut album. In fact, this was never on any Cheech and Chong album at all. Up until the internet, if you wanted this, you had to buy it on a 45. That's what these are, kids. This was called a 45. It was uh, a hit. It was number three on the Christmas charts in 1971. It also charted again in 1972 and 1973. That's because it got a lot of airplay on classic rock stations. Classic rock stations were coming into their own at, uh, at the beginning of the 70s. Disco, um, you know, disco was popular, but we also had... Uh, you know, the, the, the British Invasion and, and the Hard Rock. So those stations were becoming popular. That uh, record, Santa Claus and His Old Lady, got massive airplay. That's where I found it. When I was growing up, every Christmas, just like in uh, Thanksgiving, they'd play Alice's Restaurant. Every Christmas, they would play Cheech and Chong, Santa Claus and His Old Lady. It's a cute, I hate to say cute, but it is a, it's a cute little three and a half, four-minute story about Santa Claus and how what Cheech and Chong do is they they play with the Santa Claus legend. As I said, this is 1971. Cheech and Chong, this is, they, they put out their first album. They're, they're really at the height, you know, they, they, they just hit the, they've hit the scene. They've got popularity and their counterculture. And you think it's 1971, Vietnam going on, counterculture, you know, uh, people are speaking out against the government. They're going to use this record to trash Santa Claus. And they're going to use this record to trash commercialism and Christmas. Well, they don't. They just put a new spin on the Santa Claus legend. And they turn Santa Claus into a counterculture icon in this little 45 record. They talk about how Santa Claus, you know, because Santa Claus has the long hair. Santa Claus has the beard. Santa Claus, ha Santa Claus has the red suit and the boots. So he dresses funny. So they make Santa Claus out to be a counterculture icon. And he's just trying to help because back in the early 70s, that's what these kids were doing. They were just trying to help. They were trying to get their voice heard by the government. They were speaking out. And that's what Santa Claus is doing. Uh, <laughs> Santa Claus is, he had to go underground because he was counterculture, but he was still out there. He was still delivering his presence. He was still making a difference. That's what the message of this little 45 is, is that no matter who you are and no matter who's trying to keep you down, you go out and you do what you feel is right. And that's what Santa Claus did. It's really, now that's, that's maybe a deep interpretation of a, a, a silly little record where Santa Claus is made out uh, to maybe have a, a cocaine habit by Cheech and Chong and have magic reindeer and a, and a hot old lady. But that's the way, but, but that is the brilliance of it. It's, it's a little Santa Claus song, but they're, they're saying, get out there. No matter who's keeping you down, get out there. Make a difference. Do what you got to do. And that's what Santa Claus does. And, uh, you know, Cheech and Chong, they're in this record, they're playing Pedro and the Man. If you're a Cheech and Chong fan, you know exactly what characters. Those are the characters they play in the movies. In this, they're Pedro and the Man. And Cheech is just regaling Chong with the story about how Santa Claus had to go underground because he was being hassled, but he still gets out and he still delivers the presents. Simple story with, I think, a lot of background at it. And now on the flip side is uh, Dave, classic Dave, you know. Who is it? That's on the backside. And that was on their first album. And we, of course, we all know the classic Dave. So... You get a nice little Santa Claus, and then you just flip it over, and you get one of the most classic 